Hello Z-Bird, welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies 2. Today, we are back in Penny's Pursuit with Imperial Entanglements, four days remaining, five more levels left to go. We couldn't do these before because they were sort of locked off, but now it's been a couple days and they've been unlocked. So level six through 10, hopefully we'll do well with them. Um, It looks like our reward for this one's a thousand coins, but our first clear reward is, Okay, interesting, is 600. So it looks like we can get 1,600 coins out of this one already. That's quite a reward. So yeah, let's definitely get into this and see how it goes. Might be a little bit rusty to start things off because I haven't really played in a day or two, but I'm looking forward to it. So level objective, survive for one and a half minutes, and the bonus objective is to defeat one Roman Gargantuar. All right, ooh, boss buster perk. That sounds like it could be useful. Is there going to be... I guess, whoa, hey, look, it's the uh, exercise zombie. All right, I forget his name. Maybe it's just treadmill zombie. I can't quite remember, but we can choose anything we want. <laughs> um, You know what? Well, actually, if we have to defeat a gargantua, I don't know if turning it into an imp actually counts, so I don't know if I want to use that. What am I getting, like, the ultimato? Because, you know, it, it, that's actually boosted. So I'm trying to figure out, you know, like, well, what do we have boosted? What can we make the most of? Um, First off, maybe we should start with something like Sunshroom Enlightenment. And then looking at what of the other bonus things we have, maybe I could do something like Cold Snapdragon. Do we have the Cold Mint? Yeah, we do. Uh, so maybe something like this wouldn't be so bad. Uh, just having some kind of cool cold strategy. And on top of that, maybe something like the Infinite. And then lastly, Power Lily. I don't know how this will go. <laughs> maybe not well. We'll find out. Uh, but... Yeah, it looks like we are starting pretty normally here. We're not starting with like, you know, having to set things up. So yeah, let's try something like this and see if that's actually any good. Um, but, might wanna slow things down. Yeah, I'm not really sure how the damage output's actually gonna go on here, but I wouldn't mind doing something like that. And just sort of keep at it. Yep, just keep doing that kind of thing. Uh, here comes a Gargantua already, who is sort of kind of who I'm more focused on anyways. Like, if we don't get rid of the treadmill zombie, that's one thing. Another one's going to come and take his place anyways. Uh, there we go. Let's make sure she gets out there and does her thing. Because we have the boss buster. Like, who counts as a boss here? I'm not really entirely sure. But we have an all right amount of sun right now. Mark Gargantors are making their way out. I don't have too much I can deal with this guy with, so that's sort of a problem I need to keep in mind. Just got rid of them. There's some plant food, uh, which not entirely sure I wanna use that just yet. Maybe just to boost this stuff. And the power lily. There we go. Because we just have to survive for a couple more seconds. We've already gotten rid of one gargantua, so maybe that's all we need. Whoop, there we go. I'll try to get rid of this guy. He just threw that brain in a random direction. Um, hmm. And that's it, that's all we have to do. So there we go, there's 1,600 coins for us. Not bad. All right, we get an upgrade for our boss buster. What do you know? So that's pretty cool. We got a quest complete there, so that's gonna be five more gems. Going going through with a good start for the first level today. Happy to see it, but we're not quite done. Uh, I don't know what it's trying to, Oh yeah, it wants me to fight Dr. Zomboss. I will definitely be doing that by the end of today's episode. We struggled with it last episode. Um, or last time we were at Penny's Pursuit. I don't want that to be case, the case this time, but we'll see. So this one gives us a chance of getting 1,800 coins instead of uh, 1,600, so a little bit more. Hopefully that turns out well. We'll have to see like, what the objective and bonus objective are. But yeah, that first level got done in only like five minutes, so that's pretty good pacing. Oh, it looks like we're in the uh, Lost City. Uh, level objective, survive for three minutes. Bonus objectives, survive and protect the endangered plants and defeat Cardia one time. So we have the sweet potato this time. Um, how do I wanna do this? I'm, I'm thinking having that level two boss buster will probably be pretty good. Oh, do I not? Okay, for a second I thought I couldn't choose the plants for this one. No sun plants. Trying to think through how we wanna do this, son. I might wanna do something a little more basic, but that'll do a lot of damage. I'm thinking like the electric pea shooter. I wish we had the electric mint because honestly, it'd be a pretty good combo to do something like this. I mean, that's boosted. So definitely, I'm gonna consider and do the grape shot. Beyond that, maybe keep things a little bit more affordable, a little bit more simple. I say that, but I'm tempted to do apple mortar. Okay, after that, keep things affordable and simple. 
I just don't know what else more we could really do. Well, maybe something like, oh, I can't do the Stalia. No free plants. Interesting. Okay, I don't know how much I'm going to be using some of this, but seeing how I can't use any sun plants, I can't use any free plants. I forget what the sweet potato even does in this game. Um, oh yeah, I don't know how this is gonna go. What's weird is that you can do that and get sun out of that, and then you can dig it all up, but you can't get it again. You can't get it more than once out. Well, that's an interesting way to get some easy sun. Interesting. Uh, we'll do that for now. And then maybe I'll do this. Because I don't think I'm going to get any extra sun is the thing to keep in mind. So maybe I should have done this a better way. I'll do that for now. And maybe I'll just leave it like that. We'll have two electric blueberries that are boosted to put down. So that's at least good. Because won't this occasionally just make more sun? I sure hope so. Uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Yeah, it definitely just made more sun right there. That's sort of what we want. Oh my. Uh, that's not what I wanted. I don't know exactly what to do about that. I don't know if the sweet potato's taking damage. It doesn't look like it. Um, hmm. Maybe I could, I don't know. It's really hard to tell if that anything's actually going on there. I'll try to destroy this guy though. That's sort of a big thing right now. Um, keep at it like that. And that'll start throwing out some thunderstorms as well. Maybe a cherry bomb. I'm just trying to damage this guy down as much as we can. I don't know how well that's actually working. Here. Whoop. That's not too bad. Maybe get, oh, did we get him? Oh, we got him, nice, all right. That's what I wanna see. So far, so good then. Uh, we gotta keep at it. That might take some time. Nice. Same deal here, let's set up a wall. That's making more sun for us, which is good, because that's what we really need. But this is getting crowded. We still need to survive for another whole minute. Uh, boom, that got rid of a good chunk of them right there. Oh, this is scary. This is real scary. The boss buster perk, though, coming into play. I do see some more plant food moving in. We'll get another one of these electric blueberries, which will certainly help. There we go, there we go. Um, Go with us, go with us, because that thing needs to survive. If it doesn't, we're in big trouble. Um. What do we want to do about this? Oh, because it's getting in quick. Uh, I didn't want to have to do this. I don't know if I had to, actually. We were sort of fine. Um, there we go. Okay. Getting rid of this center lane is sort of the most important thing. Because is it a bonus? Okay, well, that's only a bonus objective, but it's still something I'm trying to make work here. Uh, okay, come on. A little bit more sun would be great, but I don't know how this is gonna end up happening. Uh, okay, another one of you maybe. I don't know if that was the best idea, but it's what we did. Plant food, coming in. Let's blast more zombies, just like that. Use some plant food as well. Come on, there we go, we did it! All right, so plus two for the bonus objective and 1,800 coins, looking good. I'm really happy with that. As you can see, we got two more perks. Very, very nice. So with that done, what else is going on? Um, looks like we should be able to take a level eight, but yeah, it still wants me to do Zomboss quite a lot. It's weird that it has the X for easy mode fight Dr. Zomboss, because we weren't actually able to do that. Huh, anyways, uh, stage eight. Oh, we get 2,000 coins for winning this one. So lots of incoming cash for winning. That's always good. Very happy to see all that. Oh, so we're we're in the Dark Ages. Day eight goals. Survive the zombie attack and poison 50 zombies. Do we get the poison perk? We don't, but we can get maybe something like this. So what was the first one again? Survive the zombie attack. Okay, so we're obviously going to set up some kind of poison strategy here. Um, maybe we could start with Sunflower. I don't know if this is the best idea, but sometimes it's a little bit better. And then when it comes to poisoning, I think that'll slow them down. That won't poison them. Fire's poison. Peas, uh, we could get like plant food on the shadow shroom. That wouldn't be so bad. And then maybe along with that, we'll get this. I don't want to do the impair if I don't have to. Maybe I'll do something like Stalia. We'll see how this goes. 
Okay. Because we have some decent starting sun, so we should be fine. I don't think we'll have to uh, worry about the 50 zombies being poisoned. I think that'll actually be quite doable. Okay, so I'll go ahead and get this goo pea shooter out there. Get our first zombie poison. And every shot counts as a poison. Oh, that's interesting. That's gonna make it a whole lot easier. Get that there. And we need to, let's go ahead and use the enlightenment. All right. Okay, they're making a lot more sun in that time. It's not really as good as the uh, sun shroom now, is it? I'm a little bit worried about this. This gravestone situation though. Oh no, we got a healing zombie down this way, so let's go ahead, do away with him. We already though, like look at this, we already have it. We already have the uh, the 50, that was easy. That was super easy. Okay, so two lanes of these guys so far. We'll keep at it. Why is that healing even though, yeah, you know, what's going on there in the bottom? The bottom right, there's this that cane that's like healing everybody, even though the zombie's long gone. That's weird, I don't know what's going on with that. Is that something that normally happens? I'm not sure. Anyways, let's go ahead and put a Stalia somewhere. It's still going. I'm so confused. There we go. We're handling this quite well though. Go ahead and boost these sunflowers again. Yeah, I think we'll be okay in general. I will quickly go ahead and do that. Poison whoever we can with it. Okay, so three full lanes of them sounds pretty good to me. And we'll still do this. That poisons them even more. Oh my gosh, this is a crazy one. Oh no. Oh, this is always a problem when they do this. Uh, slow you down. And then. Poison everybody. Oh, the Jester zombies are always the worst. Always the worst. Okay, come on. How did that like not do as much as it should have? They just like did not get poisoned. Maybe because the zombie is like healing their poisonness. So the Jester zombies are a real issue here. I did what I could. Um, it wasn't enough. Slow you down, please. That knocked you back at the least. That's good. Power Lily, get in there. Uh, do this. Do that. I don't know if that was worth doing that. Shadow Shroom isn't really gonna do too much for uh, this Gargantuar, is he? Oh my gosh, this has actually gotten really bad really fast. I mean, we just have to survive this lane, or most of these lanes, and we should be fine. There we go, slow him down. It just he keeps getting healed. This is wild. Uh, freeze all zombies perk, that'll help. Uh. I'll get that there. So once again, he dropped his thing. This time we're actually doing damage to it before it just like was not taking any damage is the thing. That was what was so weird about it. Okay, get that there. And then maybe dig all of this up. I don't need the sun though. The problem is not the sun. Um, okay, better than nothing. Jeez, unless we get rid of those guys in the back though, I don't know how this is gonna happen. So let's start working on that. Dude, this is so weird. Okay, you know what? Let's not waste our time with it. I'll just activate that. Okay, that did it for us. Okay, not too bad then. 2,000 coins, uh, we get to our eighth. Uh, that's a boost for the frozen, which is what we just used. So we're getting a lot of the bonus perks today, which is great. That'll help us if we wanna go back to older levels. Uh, but for right now, I'm not ready for that. Instead, what I am ready for is the next level. But first, I gotta watch an ad so I can get more fuel. Okay, I think I said stage 10 before. We're on stage nine. This one, though, just more and more coins. And I've been trying to watch ads between episodes just to earn up more coins. We're getting a lot at this point. I think we're almost, after this, we'll be at 140,000 coins. I don't know if we've ever had this many. So that's awesome, I'm really happy to see that. We'll of course keep working on it and hopefully get more and more. Survive for three minutes, score to beat is 500,000. Uh, sure. Let's go ahead and get the score booster then. And if we get a bonus objective here, uh, we'll be able to win and get uh, 
I think the the po next perk for the, the extra score. Hmm. Ooh, everything is boosted. Oh, cool. So how do I want to do this? Um, plenty of options. Plenty of options. I'm thinking something fire based, or at the least, let's get the pyre vine out. Um, do we get sun based plants, or is that a, a, a no go? Yeah, it looks like that's not the case. We don't have a lot of sun to work with here. Um, but there's a lot of frozen stuff out, so we definitely want to continue with that trend and get the frozen mint out here. Why not? And it makes me wonder do we have the fire mint? Oh, we don't. Darn, that's a shame. No, we do. I was gonna say that was a shame, but I wonder if that'll melt everybody. We'll try it. Uh, beyond that, what else do I maybe want to focus on? Maybe more of what we already have? I can't choose him for some reason. Weird. Why, why is he canceled? Hmm. And I can't choose him either. That is super odd. Maybe I can just do something super cheap and accessible, though. If it's boosted, it'll, it'll help us survive. Sure, let's just go for it. <laughs> I don't know if this strategy is very good whatsoever. Um, but we're just not gonna do anything for right now because we could make more of it. Okay, well actually, yeah, the, those guys will do it for us, basically. Huh, didn't really think about that. Anyways, go ahead and do a bit of that. Uh, I wanna try this out. Will this melt everybody else? Yes, it will. Wow, that's actually really good. <laughs> I'm happy about that. So in the meantime, just get this stuff out everywhere. Yep, just like that, so that it starts exploding everybody whenever we need it. So I don't know exactly what we wanna do here, but remember that I can activate these. <laughs> don't wanna forget that, that's pretty important. Uh, no you don't. Okay, got that there. Cause lots of zombies are moving in. We don't like that, of course, so gotta keep working on this. More potato mines would be great. As soon as they're available, I just sort of need to use them. Okay, still trying to work on these gravestones back here. They have a lot of health for some reason. Potato mine over this way, got it. Apple mortar is always good. I'm just gonna put all of them on these gravestones until we have that, because that'll be good. There we go. We're holding them back quite well. The thing is though, are we holding them back well enough to get the score we're looking for? We're already halfway there. The score is only gonna get crazier the more we move forward, I hope. That's usually how it is. We haven't really lost too many uh, crucial plants either, so things are going quite well. Uh, whoop. Get that there and there. It can be hard to multitask with these, but I'm doing what I can. There we go, just, just sort of a little bit of everything sounds good right about now. Okay, so we did get our bonus objective score. That's awesome. Um, let's just do something like that then. And uh, I don't know if that was worth the plant. There's like potato mines everywhere. <laughs> Jeez, this is crazy. Yeah, I don't think they can keep up with us at this rate. I'm not even really using Whatever these are called, I forgot. Okay, get that there. And I guess I'll just keep working on this like that. We are sort of kind of out of sun, so maybe I could use some of my plant food for that. There we go. The mistletoe, that's what she's called, yeah. All right, so we're over a million. Looking good. I want us to keep at it, so. More potato mines, maybe an apple mortar out this way. Okay, come on, come on. Not bad. Can we hit two million? Very close, but not quite. Anyways, we got our bonus objective complete, so that will also be a better score bonus. Things are going really well in today's episode. We've gotten every single bonus objective done so far. So that means there's one last level to do before we take on Zomboss. Hopefully that turns out well. Okay, so here's level 10, 2,400 coins if we win. Let's see if we're able to do it. I think we will be, at least at the rate we've been going. It should be fine, but we'll try it out. Ooh, Wild West. Uh, level objectives, pre-plant with limited sun and survive the zombie attack. Bonus objectives, never have more than 10 plants.
<sighs> All right. Um, I think that might be good, depending on how many gargantuars there are. You never really know. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll just do freeze all zombies perk. That might be better. So we get the pre-plant. Do we get to choose? Yes, we do. I am a bit worried about what exactly we want to do with this. Hmm. I don't know if Primal Walnut will be all that good of an idea. I honestly think this might be a good one for the imp pair. Uh, even if we have to only have nine plants out at a time. And stuff like the ultimato, because like it all explodes. Um, but that's all pre-planting, so maybe that's not a good idea. It's hard to say. I wouldn't mind trying like a, a shadow setup, but I just don't know if they're not if they're powerful enough. I mean, I can't actually do the moonflower, so probably not a good idea. Lots of options. Lots of options. Hmm. There's red stinger. Ooh, I'm sort of just trying to figure out what, what's gonna be the best move for us. I mean, I know a lot with these mine carts, they usually want us to do like, like coconut cannon or something. Maybe instead we could do, not banana. Even though I love the banana, now might not be the good time for it. I'm thinking we'll do winter melon right over this way. Oh, and he's uh, boosted as well, so that could turn out great. Maybe something like the lightning reed, I'm not really sure. Well, probably better than that would just be the electric pea shooter. It's really not that much more expensive. And then when it comes to everything else, I don't know. Um, I think explosive stuff will probably be a good bet because it's only there for a moment before it goes away. So you can use that to fight back a little bit. And then maybe like an infinite so it has good coverage. Hmm. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to imitate you and then do the infinite. I was thinking about the cherry bomb, but I'm like, probably what's better than the cherry bomb is the slightly cheaper and just as effective grape shot. So yeah, I guess I'll, cause that right there was five. It said never have more than 10. So if I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, on, I don't want to put those out just yet, uh, but I will be putting those on the mine carts. Only when I really need to though. For right now, we'll see how this does on its own. It might not be very good, but this will be great against the chicken zombies. Totally great against them. Oh, it is tough to say though, because I definitely want to do the infinite at some point. Okay, so this might be the time to consider maybe doing a bit of this. And then when, the problem though, I don't think we're getting any more sun, you know? So I, I get very worried. Cause I can put down another winter melon, but I don't know how it's gonna go. Oh boy. Cause that's just a bonus objective, right? Yep. Still, I would like to be able to do it. This is the last of it though, actually. Is this the last? Yeah, I think so. All right, let's try that. Will that really be it? No way. That was actually really easy. Okay, we did it. Bonus objective complete. Get another perk. That'll get us to our boss buster level three. That's gonna make taking on Zomboss so much easier. I'm telling you right now. So, because we didn't even, we just had boss buster level one when we last took him on. So there we go, that was fantastic. We're actually ready to take on Zomboss this time. Because we we weren't successful last time. I don't know why it's giving us a little X there. Well, I guess it's giving us an X instead of a check mark, right? Uh, we'll find out. <laughs> I don't even remember too much about what the best strategy is to go against him. But we'll just sort of go for something here. Survive without planning on days mold colonies. Survive and deplete five Zomboss health bars in three minutes. Um, so we obviously want to do boss buster level three. Got gargantuars. There's little robot mechs. What do we want to do though? Um, I don't know if we need sun all that much. Hmm. I think that poison is still one of our better strategies right now, especially with the impair. And then maybe if we did also spearmint with that, that's really not that bad of an idea. 
Just trying to make the most of everything here. Maybe we could do like gold bloom. We don't do too much gold bloom nowadays. And then like a good explosive could be good. Let's give it a shot. See how it goes. I don't know if this is a good strategy or not anymore. Prepare your defenses. Um, so I do get to get a little bit prepped here. I think goo pea shooter across the board for right now might be our best bet. Let's leave it like that. All right, let's get that there. And then like immediately throw it in there. It's free, like that's what the best I got. It is totally free. Uh, get some of those guys set up, more impairs. And just keep that cycling through as much as we possibly can. You just impair, impair, and you know what? We're feeling up to it, a little bit more impair. Got it. So obviously we have a lot of his health bars to get through but I'm hoping that this will keep our team sort of like nice and strong. Here, I need to put this down, pick that up. Get another one of these, <laughs> I like how that guy was in mid swing. Um, and <laughs> it, uh, I'm just gonna do that. Um, geez, I don't have enough space for all this plant food <laughs> right now. But that guy was in mid swing and, and we turned him into an imp. That was wonderful. Okay, so he's almost down in this. That's good. Uh, there's just like not enough room to manage everything now, is the one big issue I have with some of this. Okay, um, yeah, let's get the mint back out. I think I refreshed the wrong thing there for a moment. Got all that. Looking good. As soon as I can, put all that stuff down, refresh the mint again. Got it. Okay, everybody's working. So he's down to two health bars already. And we are not giving up. As soon as we can, boom, just throw down another one. Still throwing out a ton of damage. More plant foods coming in. So first off, explode like that, get rid of more stuff. Impair again, another mint. Got it. I need to get rid of those two so I can start doing this. And then get those imps out of there. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's crazy. Right there. Not bad. He still has a good chunk of health left to go though. I am a tad bit concerned. Okay, come on, come on. Got that. Refresh. Maybe more plant food would be good. As soon as we possibly can. Oh boy. You don't see the pelican carrying the zombie too often. That's interesting. Okay. He is not doing so well, which is exactly what we want. Okay. Over this way. I'm really just trying to focus in on this because we're out of time. Yikes, it's just, it's not enough damage output. I think, I think I'll do it. We get 30 extra seconds, will that be enough? I sure hope so, because if not, we're in big trouble. Hey, hey, now's not a good time to do that. All right, impair. I'm just going to hit him with like a ton of these. It's not enough. Oh, that is definitely not enough. Man, I can't find a strategy that works for us here. Uh, let's do that. Oh my gosh, yeah, that was a waste. I, we've, this is the exact situation we ran into last time. It's very frustrating because I just, I can't get it to work. Um, we do still get coins for participating, but we don't get the reward unless we beat him. And I just don't know what strategy is gonna do that for us. Cause that is with uh, two levels higher of a boss buster and he just won't let go on that last one. So I need to find something that'll work. So the stakes are pretty high this time cause I know what that X means now. If we fail one more time, it's over. We gotta start from the beginning again. I don't want that uh, for their ZPS at the least. I'm gonna try my best to do this. If, so, if, if it doesn't work out, there's not really much I can do, you know, um, but I will just, I'll really try here. I think what I wanna do 
And I don't know how this is gonna work, but I wanna try. Um, first off, maybe... Something like this. I know it's extra gems, but at this point I need to really heighten my chances of winning as much as I can. Um, I'm thinking of having a shadow set up where we do this mostly. Let's upgrade you for 5,000 coins right there. It's something, you're level three. Now the problem is that they're not very high level. Well, actually, no, I thought she was boosted. She's not boosted. Okay, maybe I wanna reconsider this then. I don't know if this is gonna be the best strategy if she's not boosted. Oh boy, I just, I don't know what the answer's gonna be, you know? Because I feel like one of my most damaging setups here just like isn't as damaging as it needs to be. Uh, maybe I could boost you. I don't know if I wanna spend that many gems. I mean, I might as well, because this is our last chance to do it, is the thing. So get that. Oh man, this is one experience away from getting a level up as well. Interesting. I don't know if we'll need really any of that. But you know what, we should, no, I don't know if that works that way. Imitating the tile turnip. I don't think it, it works the way I think it does. Uh, so I'm going to leave it. But what else can I do here? They're definitely, maybe I could get Starfruit. Obviously I'm going to get Appeasement out here. Maybe Primal Walnut, that is a cheaper like option. Ah, oh, man. I really hope this works. If it doesn't, I mean, we gotta do it all over. Maybe this, because Ultimate is gonna explode as soon as we put it down because of how it works. So maybe something like that would be interesting. And then Grape Shot to even it all out. Might as well give it a go. Hold for the best, prepare our defenses. Oh wait, hold on. Don't know if I wanna do that. I guess I could get some star fruit out to start with. Cause I'm trying to think about this. We wanna make the most of that plant food effect. Hmm. Same thing with that. So really, yeah, just go all in with this for right now. I don't wanna spend too much cause I do wanna save some sun for actually putting down the bowling bulb. So we'll do that for right now. It'll at least do some damage to things. Oh, I'm nervous. Like this is all or nothing right now. Um, so go ahead and get this going on and that. And then like, I, I wanted to try this. Like you see how it explodes like that. Uh, we'll see if that ends up actually being useful or not. We already got the first one down, so that's at least good. Um, and we just sort of have to rely on all the sun coming down to actually help us out here. Uh, maybe no more ultimato <laughs> would be a good idea. Okay, not too bad actually. Got another one. I Means the bowling bulb is not all that much more expensive than the ultimato. Right now, I think that having the the P based focus is important. There we go. I'll do that. All right. More sun coming in. Put that there. And then as soon as I can, put out another one maybe or something. Because now I have enough for more bowling bulbs, but I don't have enough for another tile turnip. And that's sort of a bit of a problem. Okay, so I'm getting a lot of plant food here right now. Trying to make the most of it all. Uh, do a bit of that. I'm just waiting for a good chunk more sun. We're actually getting through them because the bowling bulb's like the best plan of all time, but that's crazy. And I'm sure the star fruits are helping out quite a lot here. Let's do that. Let's do this. Let's just keep a constant appeasement out. Yeah, he's down to one health already. Wow, wow, much better. Way, way better. Uh, use some plant food like that. Maybe even do a bit of this. That definitely helped. I definitely saw his health bar go down a bit there. Okay, um, another appeasement, another set of these, another set of that. Oh, he's almost done. He's almost done. We still have a lot more time. So this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> when in doubt, just do boosted bowling bulbs. Okay, so now he's on his uh, you know, permanent health bar. Basically, at this point, we get a lot of coins, gems, that kind of stuff, which is awesome. There's some more plant food. Definitely going to use that for the appeasement. Uh, oh, there's a gem. <laughs> it's something. Okay, come on, a more coins. Get that out here. I really don't know which one's better, the star fruit or the bowling bulb at this point, but I'm doing a little bit of everything. Whatever I can afford, really. 
It might be better instead of appeasement at this point to actually just do the bowling bulbs uh, power tile. Got it. So yeah, we're getting some good stuff out of this, that's for sure. Okay, so the third time's a charm, we found a strategy that works. I'm so glad, I'm so relieved. Whoa, no you don't, hold on mister. You can't just be doing that to me. Mm-mm, not happening. Not on my watch. And there we go, victory! It took a lot of hard work, but we also get 10 experience. I don't know who for, uh, but we also get 2,200 coins, 10 experience for the Tana, and five, or five for the Tana, five for the Bonk Choi, and 10 for the Star Fruit. Oh boy, that was that was some work involved in that one. Very, very nerve wracking, but we did it. Levels one through 10 and Zomboss defeated in this week's Imperial Entanglements. Of course, because of that, it was, it was all on easy mode, but that's the best I can do right now, then that's the best I can do. Uh, the ZPS goes down to zero because of that, that's fine. One thing I wanna do then is check out what quests we've gotten completed. Looks like we got, you know, some gems and stuff. That's always good though, because I had to spend some gems to get there. Uh, yeah, lots of fun though, for sure. Stay tuned, we have more episodes coming up, not only with whatever um, thing is next with uh, Penny's Pursuit, but we also have more plants I wanna showcase soon. I'm thinking of showcasing the squash next episode, so that'll be a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies 2. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.